First thing to do is to get CCleaner. And how do you do that? Let's open up a browser. Let's go to filehippo.com. Sounds silly, but it's a good website. It's a lot of uh, free software there. It's a clean site. There's a bunch of viruses in there. But anyway, if you look at the, I'm at File Hippo right now. And here's CCleaner. Let's go ahead and get it. This is the link to it. Uh, and just make sure you click on this green link right there. It starts to download. It's not rocket science. And here you go. This is going to try and play a video. It's annoying, I know, but you got to do it. And so you can see down here it's downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and pause that. This is, is actually going to my uh, download folder, but I'm going to click on Show in Folder. And here we are in my download folder, and there it is. So I'm going to double click on it. Right now you're not seeing what I was just prompted. This is user account control box that popped up and it's asking me if it's okay to install it. It's just a Windows box. You say yes. And now we're going through the install part. And while we're at this window right now, I'm going to go ahead and close Explore and uh, Chrome. So let's close that. And let's go ahead and install it. Super simple. There, it's installed. That was rough, wasn't it? Here's the shortcut to it. It's on your desktop right there. Let's run the cleaner. This box opens up, this browser. I'm going to go ahead and shut it off. And so now it's running. Uh, anyway, so now we're going to try this process. will permanently delete system or files on your system. Well, I don't need to see that again, so just hit OK. Chrome needs to be closed. Yeah, because it never shuts down. Always data mining, but don't just hit, yeah, okay. And let's force it. And there's all this stuff. Run it again. I'm just cleaning up it right now. And you got to run these things a couple times. Like your stack, there's, you know, what, uh, nine files right there. I'm going to run it again. You might have. I've removed 14 gigabytes worth of data, and it took about three or four times to run this. But anyway, that's about all I'm going to get down to. That these three files are actually this window that's opened up. That it's this app runs using a web page. So you're never going to see it. Uh, you're never going to be able to get rid of it completely. But you'll get rid of most of them. You should come down to something like that in files. And you go to registry, a scan for issues. And here we go. We're scanning the registry or the registry cleaner, and we found one. So I'm going to fix fix it. And it says, "Do you want to back it up?" Say no, and fix the issue right there, and it's done. Scan for the issues again. You see the pattern here. You run it once, clean it, run it twice. It cleans a little bit more. Now, now there's nothing there. And pretty much that's it. That's all you got to do. You just saved yourself 75 bucks. Here's the. Uh, desktop right there. This cleaner will actually pop up and tell you when to clean it, but I like to preemptive do it and uh, clean my computer just about once a week. So all you do is click on that and here you are back at this. You click that button, run it, say OK, then click on that, go scan for the issues, run OK, and you're done. That's it. You save yourself a ton of money.